Medtronic is a huge company that makes life-saving medical devices and leads the global market. But why would a company this big create a surgical robot? The answer might surprise you. Imagine a world where doctors don't make big cuts during surgery. Instead, small, precise tools controlled by a robot do all the work. Sounds like a science fiction, right? But it's real. And it's happening right now. So today I want to tell you about the Hugo Robotic Surgery System made by Medtronic. It's a robot that helps doctors perform surgeries with amazing accuracy and care. So how does it work? Before surgery, doctors figure out where the tiny cuts will be made. The patient lies on the table and the robot's arm gets into position. One arm holds a tiny camera to show the inside of the body on the big screen. Oh, and by the way, the doctor doesn't touch the patient directly. They sit at the control station nearby and move the robot's arms using hand controls and foot pedals. The robot copies the doctor's movement, but with even more precision. It even can smooth shaky hands. What makes this robot so special? First, smaller cuts means less pain and faster healing. Instead of big scars, they're just like tiny marks on the body. Second, the robot's arms can move in a way human hands can't. So they can turn and twist in tight spaces to work on the delicate areas. Also, the camera shows a clear 3D view of what's happening inside the body, so doctors can see every tiny detail. Finally, the doctor sits comfortably while controlling the robot, so they don't have to be standing for hours. It's less exhausting, which helps doctor to stay way more focused. By the way, I'm Lisa, CEO at OVA Solutions. We've also worked on developing a robotic assistant for one of our clients. That was such an exciting project. Seeing how these technologies help people is what makes our work so rewarding. We're basically an external engineering team for medical device companies. So why do hospitals love Hugo? This robot's design is so flexible. It can be adjusted and shared between different surgeries and even different rooms. Plus, it's more affordable than some other surgical robots. So it's also a cost-efficient choice for hospitals. But now, what does it all mean for patients? First, patients feel less pain compared to traditional surgery. So in traditional surgeries, doctors have to make big cuts to reach the problem inside the body. These big cuts hurt more because they damage a lot of skin, a lot of muscles and other tissues inside your body. But with the robotic surgery, the doctor used just tiny tools and makes really, really small cuts basically big enough for the tools to fit in. So smaller cuts means less damage to your body, so there is basically less pain afterwards. Also, the robotic arms are extremely precise and gentle, so they don't push or pull on your body as much as a doctor's hands might do during open surgery. Thus, again, less damage. Second, patients spend less time in the hospital. When your body isn't hurt as much because of smaller cuts and less tissue damage, it heals faster. This means that you don't need to stay in the hospital for that long. For example, in traditional surgery, you might stay in the hospital for several days because doctors need to watch for problems like bleeding or infection. And with robotic surgery, there is usually less bleeding and fewer problems, so you can go home sooner. And we go to number three, patients can return to normal activities sooner. After traditional surgery with big cuts, your body needs more time to heal because it's fixing a bigger injury. So you might feel weak or sore for weeks, sometimes months with robotic surgery because, again, the cuts are very small and there is less damage inside your body. You feel better much faster. This means you can get back to doing things like walking, working, playing much sooner. Also, since there is less pain, it's easier for you to move around after the surgery. And this also helps because moving helps your body heal faster and keeps you from getting stiff or weak. And number four, there is a low lower risk of infection. So big cuts in traditional surgeries leave more of your body open to germs like bacteria that can cause infections. With the robotic surgery, the cuts are very small, so there is less chance for germs to get inside. Also, during robotic surgery, the tools are very clean, very precise. The robot doesn't basically touch anything outside of your body except what's supposed to work on. This helps keep everything sterile, like germ-free, since you also heal faster with robotic surgery, there is less time for an infection to start. So, summary. 
Robotic assisted surgery is like a gentler way of fixing problems inside your body. It uses tiny tools, small cuts instead of big ones. And because of this, your body doesn't hurt as much. You heal faster, you go home sooner. You can get back to doing what you love quicker. And there is less chance of getting sick from an infection. So if you found this interesting, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more stories about how innovation transforming healthcare. I'd actually love to hear your thoughts. Would you trust? a robot during surgery? I will. <laughs> well, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. It's Lisa Varenkova. Bye.